Hey everyone, Nomad Master here. Welcome to my tour of the Marion Casino and Hotel located in Big Rail. So the Marion is a four-story hotel with a casino and a cocktail lounge located on the first floor. The casino offers a variety of games including blackjack, Texas Hold'em, Cho Han, and slots. So right now all the settlers are getting off of work so the casino is starting to get busy. Over here is the blackjack table. So settlers exchange battle caps for new cocade tokens to make it easier to play poker and slots. Over here you can get a good look at the Red Blossom Cocktail Lounge. So the cocktail lounge doesn't serve any sort of hot food, but occasionally they'll make like a punch or they might make like a soup or a stew that's usually offered for free so they can get people to come in and gamble. They do offer things like potato crisps and candy, but outside of that, most of this space is preserved for glassware and this cocktail lounge does also have menus that they offer to customers. So I wanted the Red Blossom Cocktail Lounge to be the main concept of the casino. So what I did is I slanted the windows downwards to kind of make them look like petals. And then the red squares in the middle are kind of like the stamen and the pistil of a flower. I also tried to theme the casino with the colors red, blue, and tan. I feel like it's almost kind of like red, white, and blue, which to me is reminiscent of the Minutemen. So I try to use those colors a lot whenever I'm building something significant for the Minutemen. So let's go take a look at the Texas Hold'em table, which is over here on the other side of the bar. So there's always two tables running at all times, which is the Texas hey, Hold'em table and the Blackjack early. table. You're going to be However, on info, weekdays, right? Monday through Wednesday, the Texas Hold'em table switches to Cho Han. Okay, let's go upstairs now and take a look at some of the hotel's rooms. There's only two types of rooms in the Marion, which is singles and doubles. However, there are deluxe versions of the doubles. So here on the second floor is both going to be doubles. So these are just regular doubles. All rooms come with electricity, a bed, and then the doubles all come with a TV. It looks like these people have just arrived. So let's go take a look at the next double next door. This one is slightly bigger, so that one's probably a little bit more expensive. This is a standard double, usually just two rooms. So there is a main living space with the TV, and then there's also a bedroom area. I would assume that the hotel is probably busiest in the fall and the spring, because that's when it's not super hot and not super cold. Because that is one of the downsides to a lot of these structures, is that they don't have any insulation. So let's go up into the elevator to the third floor. There are three more rooms up there that we're going to go take a look at. So this floor contains two singles and then a deluxe double. So the first thing we're going to look at is the deluxe double here. It looks like nobody has checked in yet. There's always a bathrobe. Oh, I guess somebody has checked in. <laughs> but there's always a bathrobe on the bed upon first checking into your room. Because the casino basically has a deal with Bobby's bathhouse across the way. So that's the only place settlers can go and shower and take a bath and go to the bathroom. So Bobby's bathhouse always puts a bathrobe on the bed whenever you check into a room. And that encourages people to go down there and use their services as well. Bobby's bathhouse is also in charge of cleaning the rooms. So this is an example of a single. It looks like somebody has checked in here. Let's go next door and check out the other single. It looks like, yep, somebody has checked in here as well. So the singles are a lot smaller. They usually just come with a full bed, um, but they're not terrible. They're probably a much better price than paying for those other big rooms. So let's go upstairs now to the fourth floor, and we'll check out that last room. Located on the fourth floor is just going to be the last deluxe double. The major difference between doubles and deluxe doubles is that they contain a full kitchen. So that is one of the big pluses if you're going to be staying in the Marion, is having some sort of running water, a place to cook, and a place to store your food as well. So this is the only room on the third floor is this deluxe double. This tends to be one of the more expensive rooms in the hotel. It does appear that somebody is staying here as well. So it looks like they've got all their stuff on the shelves and they're all set up here. Look, like they've got some Nuka K tokens over there from playing the slots or the poker tables probably. So though the Marion tends to stay pretty busy and they always have rooms that are being checked out, 
One of its biggest problems is its competition from locals. A lot of people living in Big Real that have houses towards the edge of the city have decided to expand their homes to add on small rooms to rent out to people visiting Big Real. And this tends to be at a much lower cost than if you were to pay for a room at the Marion. As a result, one of the things the Marion did was they added neon signs to the outside of the casino advertising slots, poker, and cocktails. These signs can be seen from a far distance and has helped significantly with the problem of competing with locals. Here you can get a good look at Bobby's bathhouse, which was originally owned by Bobby No-Nos. It's not uncommon to see guests walking back and forth to go to the bathroom or to take a shower or a bath. That pretty much concludes my video for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.